This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Columns, adding columns. All right, picking up where we left off. 801, we're gonna be working on 802 now. So we're gonna save as, make that 802 begin. Okay, we can save as again, and then we'll make this the complete version. Complete. Good, so we're gonna add in columns, but you never just add in columns. You always have to check where the column's going from and to, and where are they on the grid. Is there a column grid specifically for the column? So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna check on that. So if I go to a south elevation, let's just take a look at our levels. So it looks like we need to refine our levels a little bit. Our top of footing is just at the basement level. Let's just adjust that. So right now it's at negative 12. Let's assume for now we're going to put in a 5-inch slab on the floor, and then that'll just drop that down. We are also going to adjust these two levels, and we're going to call those top of steel low. Yes, we'll rename corresponding views. And then top of steel high. Okay, we're also going to look in plan view. So if I go to top of slab, I want to look at our grid lines. Now we're going to be adding some columns right in the basement at the stair points, and it doesn't look like we have column grids there. So we need to add some in order to put those columns right there. So I'm going to go to the top of footing view, and we're going to add those in. So right now we have an A and a B. Let's just add the grids in, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so First of all, let's take a look at what the grids need to be. And this is something that I sort of did on my own. It's just a matter of calculating. Okay, so here's the factor right now. And this might change. And some people don't like the quarters and halves and things like that. But for now, we're just going to go with it. So this is 10 foot, 4 and 3 quarters. So we'll just copy this one down. 10 foot, 4.75. And the next one is 12 foot, 11 and a quarter. Okay, so we'll just copy this one down. That's 12 foot 11.25. Not so hard. Okay, there they are. Now we've got A, C, D, B. Not very good. So what we want to do is just go back here and rename them. Now, sometimes you kind of have to be a little tricky with this because if I just call this B, it's going to say, sorry, that's already been used. And that's kind of protecting us from ourselves. I'll just call this one B1. And then this one I'll call C, and then this one I'll call D, and then this one I'll go back and just call it B. So just using a little bit of craftiness. Okay, so just again, you want to flip back through your views, make sure your grids are going to the places that you need them to be. That looks fine. I'll go to the north view, the south view. So far, so good. We may discover something as we go, but this is probably going to be fine. So let's start at the footing. So we'll go in our project browser, top of footing. And we're going to go to Home, we're going to go to Column, and then in the Type Selector, you can choose the type of column you're going to use. So right here is the Type Selector, and maybe we'll use the 6 by 6 by half for these ones here. By no means are we trying to say what the structural design should be at this point. We're just putting something in as a placeholder. Okay, so now right away it's saying Slanted Column up here, and then it's giving us a couple boxes that we can fill in. We don't want a slanted column. We actually just want a vertical column. So we'll pick on vertical column. And that's really the one we'll be focusing on in this course. Then what we're going to do is instead of a depth, we're going to choose a height. And we're going to say we want that to go from the top of the footing, which is where we are now, right here, top of footing. And then we're going to go up to top of slab. Now we may bring that down a little bit. So we may offset the top at a later time. But for now, let's just put that in. Okay, so there's one, put another one in at that intersection, put one in at that intersection, and at that intersection. You always want to look at what you're doing in 3D. So I'm going to hit Escape twice, then I'm going to go to Structure Only, and there you go. Now we could go to the top of Slab, and we could continue adding these columns. So we could say, let's go to Column again, and maybe we want to go with the 8x8x5 eight by eight by eighths for the corners. So we'll say, one there. Now, where are they going? So right away, you know, I've already went into this making a mistake. 
let's hit escape and let's just delete this one. And this is good because it helps you to see what you need to do. So if I go to column, I'm starting on the top of slab. Where am I going? So this one is going to go to top of steel high. This is actually the high point here. And let's do another high point over here. And you know what we can do is we could add in a couple more, even if these are not going to end up being the 8 inch by 8 inch, at least they're there. So we could switch them to a 6 inch later if we needed to. Now, the next ones we're going to say top of steel low. So that's where these are going. And again, you may need to offset the top down a little bit. Okay, so there's one there. And there's one there. And there's one there. Okay, we'll hit escape twice. And then again, you want to go back to your structural only and take a look. Now, that doesn't really tell us too much yet. We may want to go to our coordination one, which is just our full 3D. Now, we can't see it at this point because they're buried in the walls. We'll get to that later. Let's just go back to top of slab. And if we wanted to just add in a few more, so we could go to column. And maybe we'll just from the type selector pick the 6 by 6 by half. And we'll do some intermediate ones maybe here and here. And we'll put one right there there and over here. Now it looks like I'm noticing that we might actually be going through a window. So that's something if we go back to our 3D view again, we may want to spin this around and uh-huh. So we're going to need to talk with the architect about that and see what's going on. But not at this moment during this course right now. So that's something we can look at a little bit later.